This white colored pedestrian bridge is one of the symbols of a small coastal town located on Mount Desert Island, Maine, called Somswill. In order to support saw, grist, and woolen mills, several dams were constructed in the late 1700s in the Mill Pond watershed. Now, the one dam that is left creates a barrier for diatomous fish such as alewife and American eel who come from the ocean and want to access fresh water, in this case, Soms Pond or Long Pond. In order to help alewives run, Soms Will Fish Passage Restoration Project has installed fish ladders. Every spring, alewife will make its way up the ladder into a fish box. Then, the Soms Mainal Wildlife Sanctuary volunteers open a small underwater gate that enables fish to swim through the box right into the mill pond. Meanwhile, every alewife that passes is counted and by the end of season, the organization has an idea of how many fish went upstream. Another diatomous species, elvers, also known as glass eels, are a larval stage of an American eel. They are miniature and cannot fight against the current in the fish ladder. Therefore, elvers in Somsville use a tiny natural brook that runs next to the fish passage. If we take a look underwater, we can clearly see how elvers are constantly fighting against the river current. Natural structures such as leaf leather or rocks help elvers to stay together as a bundle and slowly make their way upstream step by step. If we have a closer look of this species, we can see that elvers are biofluorescent. There is no research to share about reasons why they glow. Perhaps it is camouflage related adaptation. All these elvers together remind an eelgrass bed and could trick their predators. It can also be a way of communicating with each other. No one has figured it out yet. All of these elvers were born about seven months ago in the Sargasso Sea near the Bahamas. They travel thousands of miles up north by entering the Gulf Stream, being in the form of Leptocephalus, then go through a larval transformation and become glacial and elver, like seen in this video. Then they can stay in freshwater up to 25 years until they migrate back to the Sargasso Sea to spawn and eventually die. Elvers are commercially fished in Maine. They are sent to Asian countries where full-grown eels are raised and consumed by people. The elver fishery in Maine is strictly regulated in order to ensure the sustainability of these species. Despite the great camouflage adaptations, when elvers are running in big numbers, they could be a food source for seabirds, such as mallards. It is really quite amazing how resilient elvers are. In order to cross the concrete wall of the dam, elvers crawl through tiny cracks in the wall, hoping that it will lead them towards a pond. It looks like the wall is alive, but it is all tiny elvers making their way over three meters of concrete wall, using each other to hold on, sometimes falling but always continuing to climb. Unlike alewives, there is no monitoring happening of how many elvers make it to the mill pond as they are significantly more difficult to count. Despite the fact that Somsville Dam looks impossible for elvers to cross, they will always find tiny cracks in the wall and eventually make their way over. In fact, as seen from this footage from the alewife fish box, we can see that a bunch of elvers have found their way over the wall, bundled up, waiting to start overcoming their next step that takes them closer to the Soms pond. When alewife gate opens, elvers would rush through it as well. It would be a significantly easier and more successful run for those species without human-built infrastructure. But it is truly amazing to see how adaptable and resilient these sea-run fish species are.